Hi, this is Lee with Lee's Custom Bait. Uh, really excited to show you a new product I found at iCast 2013 this year. It's a new paint by Lure Works, which is a division of Spike It. It's a water-based paint that's non-toxic and it's four plastic lures, uh, such as sassy shads, worms, so forth. This paint sticks to the bait, uh, it doesn't come off, and then they've got a system where you dip the bait afterwards in a, in a new plastic off the thin down version like you used to making worms and such with and it puts a coating on it it makes the baits really really look nice uh, this paint comes in several different colors uh, you can mix it to come up with custom colors I know that uh, lure works right now is working on a bunch of different colors uh, it's easy to use with glitters with their clear. I usually just put a little retarder in it. And I paint the glitters on because I can use a much bigger glitter to really make some of my baits really shine. Now, to paint the bait, like always, you have to have something to uh, hold your bait. Well, I got this from the show. All I did was took some old uh, wood flooring I had, just cheap wood flooring, cut it up in like a 6 inch by 2 inch strip, and then what I did is ran some long brad nails through it. And then I can put the baits on it so I can hold them in my hand and spray them or paint them. And then when they're dry, I can pull them off, dip them, and I'm done. Uh, I made up about 20 of these. Uh, if you're going to paint, it's a lot easier to paint a bunch of baits than one. Because if you're changing colors all the time, unless you've got numerous airbrushes, and then you can do it that way. But uh, let me get set up, and uh, I'll be right back with you, and, and we'll paint some paint, uh, paint some bait. Hi again. The first bait I'm going to paint, or show you how to paint, show you how easy it is, it's going to be a rainbow trout. I live on the west coast. I live in Nevada. Uh, we do a lot of striper fishing here. Uh, but this would be a good bait for brown trout or something up in uh, your northern states, so forth, or basically it works all over. What we're going to use is the, um, the baby bass, it's a number 5813 on the color chart. I don't know if that's going to change or not, but to show you how easy it is to use, uh, let me my airbrush hook up. You don't need a system as elaborate as what I have. I've got like an 18 by 18 inch box with a 12 inch flue that's on a power fan. So they do a lot of pocket painting, but you could basically just take a frame with some uh, filter material or so forth and spray into that and you'd just be uh, fine. So what we're going to do is, the one thing about this paint is that to clean my airbrush I just use Windex and the dollar store is one of my favorite places to go because everything is only a dollar so I can just get it there real cheap and do that. So what I'm going to do is put in a few drops, not much, make sure I close my cap. And if you're not familiar with airbrushing, our two-phase, if you push down, it's air. And when you bring the, the your little plunger back, that's what releases the paint. So you always want to have something where you can see your paint. Now you can paint real thin lines. You can paint dots. It's just getting bigger and bigger. You can find all this on Google to basically teach you how to airbrush. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a back on it. So we're going to come and we're going to start, and we'll just go light. We don't want it to run or anything. We're going to paint the tail solid. This washes off with soap and water, so I'm not worried about getting in my hand. So what we'll do is we're just kind of do this. Just kind of go down the sides a little bit. Grab another block. We'll do you know, several of these until the paint runs out, and that way we don't waste any. From what I hear, the paint's not going to be that expensive. It's only going to be like, you know, eight dollars for a two ounce bottle, and that's a lot of paint. And uh, they told me they're going to come out with some smaller bottles, which works real good for you, because, you know, your whites and maybe uh, your greens and some of your opaque colors you might want to buy more and then buy little bottles of the other stuff just to accent your baits when you get them done. This is just as simple as this.
have to excuse the noise. My exhaust fan's running, so it's a little bit loud here. And we'll do one more. Looks like we've got enough just about one more. Now, we don't have to go dark. Just by controlling your, your knob here, you can go real light. Or you can open it up and put sterile coats on and go a lot darker. We'll just make one a little bit lighter. Now, like I said, to clean the brush, all I do is take and put a few squirts of the dollar Windex that I've more than likely thinned down a dozen more times. I'm just kind of wipe this around in my butt, brush. And I can spray it into my exhaust. Uh, Harbor Freight actually has a clean out for your brush. So you just set it in there. This works real good so you don't get any vapor stuff. Seeps in there, it's got a little filter. Get it all out. Wipe my brush down again, my ball, because I've got all the paint out of there. Now, in every state, rainbow trouts are different colors. Some are more silvery, some are white, some are blue, some are green. There's just all different kind of colors that you can get on that. Well, out here we have like a blue. Let me see if I pull this out. This is emerald green. Move this out of the way. Don't need much of that because we're just going to go right over it and kind of tone a little bit. Check it on my board, get all the water out. And now I'm going to come back. Just to get a little bit more shine when I put that other line on there. Change colors again real quick. I mean, all these materials that I use for cleaning and stuff, I get from the dollar store, and uh, they just work real good. Now we can go with this hot pink. Let me get over here and get another color real quick. We've got this blood red, but when we spray it light, we can get a real nice line on it. And when the colors start going together, it looks really good for that pinkish line that goes on a trout. Now, like I said, always check your brush because you don't want it to spray too thick. So you get it and you know how it's spraying to make sure your brush is working correctly, it's not clogged. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go basically from a gill plate that's on the bait that's already formed in when it was poured, and we're just going to go and put a, a faint red line through there. Because we're going faint, this red works real good to do this. Now we basically got the starting of a rainbow trout. Now one thing I like to do, uh, a lot of the other guys that 
I've seen their patterns for rainbows. Is I like to put an orange belly on it on the front, just to add more color to it. But you might not want to do that. You know, this is all your own design. You can sit there and make anything you want. And if you use too much paint, you can always have, if you got enough of these molds set up, you might have another pattern you're going to paint so you can use that color. So we'll just put a little bit of orange in there. This is a blaze orange. All the water out. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tip the noses of my base. Kind of like that, if you can see it. Once we got some more orange, we grab another cat body. And we're gonna give this one an orange tail and then we'll do something else with it later. And a real bright orange tail to flap around. I think we might make this one a come back and make this one like a fire tiger type thing. And then we're out of paint, so we'll set that aside. Let me clean my brush and we'll go to the next step, which is putting dots on it. <coughs> 